All right, so you thought we were done, but we are not because there is one more element of the Jet Black home trainer suite that they have provided me that is brand new. Um, I don't even know how many people have their hands on this. It's literally just come out. It's been a project that Jet Black's been working on for a really long time, and it is going to just polish off my home trainer suite because at the moment, there's one glaring thing about this that looks really ugly. Before you say it's the electronics, I wired all the electronics in here myself. So go easy on me, baby. It's my first time. But let's have a look. I'll show you the system and then we'll have a look at what, uh, what I'm going to add to that to hopefully make it look a little bit better. So let's get rocking. All right, so we've got the trainer table, we've got the trainer tray, um, and honestly, I think the glaring thing that stands out here is these two bad boys. They have done me a good service. They've been really loyal, uh, and you know what? I won't miss them one bit. They're super loud. Uh, they sound like a jet plane going off when you're running them, and um, they don't actually do that good a job. Um, so I've got two of these running, and uh, yeah, I mean... In the summer, it's uh, it's baking in here. So we are gonna fix that by adding wah, this bad boy. So let's get unboxing. Right, so we got it set up right there. Um, I'm gonna move it this whole system back a little bit just to get that angle maximized. Basically, the angle's supposed to blow air straight up to you. Um, so we're gonna do a bit of a noise comparison. So this is, that's not the one that's plugged in anymore. This is my home fan setup. And this is the new Jet Black. Make it out what you will. <clears throat> okay, so here we are on the setup. Um, the fan blowing straight into me. You probably see it whistling through my hair. Uh, resplendent as always. Um, so this is on the lowest setting, and at the moment, actually feeling really cool. We're going to crank it up to 11. Um, and let's. See, there we go. We interrupt this program for a special news bulletin. Okay, so you'll see me stumbling around here, um, and really what I'm cutting the video for is to show you that this uh, se sensor seems to be on the left-hand side of this uh, fan. So, if we put the record in here, and we try and turn it on from this side, we don't seem to have much luck. And if we turn it over to that side, it's straight on. So if you're having issues with getting it on, like you'll see I do, right side, not so good, left side, straight away. So yeah, I think you'll just find the sensors on the left-hand side, uh, which is something good to know. Um, when I first got it, I thought there was maybe an issue and I was a bit frustrated with the remote, but it's just a simple putting it on the left side instead of the right, which works for people that favor their right hand, I guess. Um, keeping your right hand in contact with the bike, but for me, I uh, favoured my left hand, and so as a result, uh, it wasn't exactly natural at first. Anyway, back to uh, back to the video. That's one, two, three, and four. Yeah. Yeah, you can probably feel that. That's really good. So I'm gonna play with the angle a little bit because at the moment, it's sort of blowing at my chest. Uh, so I'll probably again move the setup back a little bit. Might cut down on that interference. But overall, super happy with that. That's, uh, that's really good. So let's have a look at the setup now that it is completely finished. 
All right, so here we are. Got the table, the table, the fan, and uh, you might not have seen this puppy, but this is the turn block. And you can see it's converting directly into movement on there. So I absolutely love this thing. I actually play around with it way more than I probably should. So um, yeah, thoughts with this whole setup is that I'm stoked. Uh, one thing that I like doing, <coughs> excuse me, one thing I like doing, and it's a bit dorky, is I actually like playing some games while I'm doing Zwift. Uh, so I get up some old like Game Boy, Game Boy Advance emulators and uh, play them on the laptop. And I haven't really been able to do that, but also can whack on some Netflix <coughs> and then do my Zwift rides. And hopefully while away some of those longer, less interesting ones. So I think this is gonna really come in clutch and I'm absolutely stoked. Lucky. With this, I think just having a comparison to what it did look like, this is so clean. Oh, how good. So again. Okay, um, so anyway, breakdown of the fan. I think it's a really good piece of kit. Um, I'll give you a bit of a close up of it. Um, and I just think it really simplifies the whole setup. Um, also the direction, it's very much focused on your body as opposed to the circular fans that I had that dispersed air across a room, which I mean, is their intention? This is very much focused on sending air straight towards that sort of chest and face channel. And it does that really effectively. And so I find you know, the noise is reduced, but for the noise pollution that you do get with the fan, you get a much better sort of cooling system. And so where I would normally have to have both of my fans turned up to three, I can normally get away with having this fan turned up to two and still have the same effect, which means less noise, equivalent amount of cooling and uh yeah like i said more focus on you um so overall i think this is an awesome bit of kit i know there are a couple of alternates that you could choose um but for the price that you pay for the jet black kit it just makes it superior to some of those other brands that i think really fleece you on price um jet black is 100 percent competitive with all of those brands, you know, your Wahoos, uh, your Tax, but at the same time, it is significantly cheaper. Um, so it's just a bit of a no-brainer for me. I also think the orange and black looks really, really cool. Um, and again, just to show you that, this is the setup with the orange and black theme. Um, so yeah, look, I'm a fanboy. Love me some jet black and uh, have always, even before they jumped on and started sending me out some kit, jet black was the first trainer that I had. Uh, so yeah, I'm loving this new addition and I'm really grateful for the opportunity to show this to you guys. So hopefully you like the video and I will see you next time. Bye.